Welcome back to another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been using realistic military tactics and CQB doctrine to play this game. This game is called Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. It's a top-down CQB tactical planning and decision-making game, and it's available for purchase over on my game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. And today we're taking a look at a level that is called University Assault. This is one of the new levels that was recently made available in the latest update, which also added a SWAT and militia faction to the game. Today's mission is to conduct a hostage rescue at a university that is under siege by a terrorist faction. The mission brief says that the enemy forces have been in position for almost an entire week. But at the end of that week, we now have one hostage that is at risk of being executed. That execution is in fact imminent, scheduled to occur 30 seconds after I click play at the bottom of the screen. This mission is going to be extremely challenging, and we are bringing the SWAT and the militia factions to bear to try and solve this problem along the theme of the mission planning kind of guidance. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you guys to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you are, and if you are a fan of this content, do me a favor and share it with one of your buddies or in a Discord you think might appreciate the work that I do here. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. It's a huge milestone. We are creeping up on it, and I'm really excited to hit that milestone. Before we get started planning in missions like these, we always do an abbreviated form of a process called intelligence preparation of the battlefield. All too often, especially in games, players will rush in without really doing any analysis of the battlefield or the enemy or the terrain and how we think the enemy might fight. And the result is usually catastrophic. Now, I guarantee whatever we do today, the result's going to be catastrophic because this situation is ridiculous. But all the same, we're going to take a look at the environment and do our best to make the best plan possible to give us the best chance at saving all five hostages on our very first attempt. So let's take a look at what we have here. First, we know it's a university kind of compound. It's been under siege for a week. That means the enemy occupying this space it has has had plenty of time to dig in and fortify and prepare their defenses. In fact, they're so fanatical, they may be waiting for an assault to occur to execute their hostages or detonate themselves with IEDs and suicide vests. All of those things play a role in the way that we're going to choose to assault this place. First thing that comes to mind is a hostage sitting right in the main breach. He's got 30 seconds until he's going to be executed. And next to him, we have a suicide bomber and an executioner. And both the suicide bomber and the executioner are benefiting from being in proximity to the cover of these jersey barriers right behind them. Beyond them, we have a defensive fighting position with sandbags. We have a grunt insurgent standing next to an AK. We also have a grunt insurgent standing at the low ready, ready to use that AK. The reason we can see all of this is because we have news crews on site. So there are civilians in the area in addition to the five hostages that are inside all of that is going to play a role in how we conduct this operation. As we continue to look through the university compound itself, we see that there's likely insurgents all over the damn place, evidenced by the amount of damage to the structure, the fact that they've been there for a week, and then weapons scattered about. Looks like we got an RPK on the couch over here, an open breach indicating that perhaps the guys who are manning this battle position are coming in here to take a break. Maybe there's other hostages in that room as well, and then migrating back to that battle position to, uh, to hold it and prevent uh, an assault. We have curtains on the windows, which means they can't see out, but they could quickly see out and fire from those windows should they choose to move those curtains out of the way. We also have indications that a blast has occurred in this structure, either a grenade or a flashbang or something of this sort. Enough overpressure has been generated to knock over chairs and furniture. We have to assume that there could be civilian casualties that might be in need of medical treatment or insurgents that have now occupied this space. We have a giant death trap right here, and then we also have more disheveled areas, clearly occupied, potentially hostages in this room as it is locked, which to me indicates that perhaps there's things or people in this space that the terrorists do not want to get out. Um, we've got another disheveled space with chairs and things like that all knocked over, and again, likely hostages, likely enemy located in this position. Now, it looks like this large classroom area could be functioning as some sort of makeshift barracks. Remember, they've been there for about a week. They need a place to sleep. There's already been a wall charge or something detonated in here. And if you start to look around this classroom, we have sub guns. We've got just weapons all over the place. So this is a place where the enemy is likely congregating and resting. They still have good observation and fields of fire out this window. And then the ability to rapidly reposition themselves to this battle position right here. So if we are compromised, I expect the guys in here to occupy this window. Be prepared to engage along this axis and then also move to and occupy this battle position indicated by the sandbags so that they can fight 
from internal. So an enormous tactical challenge just looking at that first sort of entryway. Outside, we're not seeing quite as much of an enemy signature in this little like open air garden sort of space or uh, greenhouse or, or whatever this might be, this kind of courtyard area. Don't see any weapons, don't see any evidence of that same sort of like disheveled and broken nature. That doesn't mean it's not occupied. In fact, it means, you know, potentially people are back here relaxing and, uh, and holding up. If we look even further towards the top of the map, we have just a ton of arms. You got a weapon crate with a, a shoulder fired and a bunch of warheads. Again, we're seeing evidence that all those chairs and stuff have been moved out of the way. Open breaches all over the place, so they're able to rapidly reposition in and out of these structures. Freaking an, another heavy gun right here. Wall breach, again, allowing rapid movement throughout the structure. More evidence that this place has been completely barricaded up against the windows and moved all of the obstacles out of the room so these guys can move around extremely quick. This door is locked, so these guys are planning to fight from this threshold and do not want access here, or they're keeping hostages in this room and guarding them from this room is kind of how I analyze that one. Uh, another crazy death trap over here with more weapons just laying around, additional logistics and storage crates. And then we see our second set of dilemmas, and that's an external courtyard that is extremely for, uh, extremely fortified. We've got a heavy machine gun position that has been in place. We've got freaking weapons on bipods up on these defensive fighting positions, an anti-tank guided missile, more warheads laying around indicating another possible shoulder fired. We've got a weapon propped up against the freaking sandbags over here. This, oh Jesus, two full trucks loaded for bear with uh, equipment and weapons crates and gas and everything that they would need to sustain themselves over a period of time and defend this place. Two weapons crates completely full of freaking RPG warheads, um, more vehicles, more weapons laying around, like goodness, they've even created barricades so you can't navigate back and forth from the two different portions. I see this as kind of two main problem sets. There's this problem set where I think my hostages are located, and then there's this problem set, with it, which is a totally separate battle position. Um, so we kind of know what the enemy looks like. We know what the terrain looks like. We understand how they fortified themselves. So then the question is, how do we think that they're going to fight? Well, they took a compound in a place where they knew that they would be facing an assault, and they have strapped bombs to their chest and threatened to execute people. My suspicion based off those indicators, is that they plan to die here. And if they plan to die here, that means they plan to be extremely violent. That means if we're compromised, that hostages are going to be executed rapidly by executioners that could be scattered about the location. It means they're going to detonate themselves with suicide vests. That means from a friendly perspective, we need to maintain standoff and do whatever we can to mitigate the risk of those blasts harming ourselves or the hostages that are in the structure. And, uh, and I think they're going to fight in place. We already know that they're likely staging in places like this. They're going to occupy battle positions like this. They're going to occupy battle positions like this. Um, they're going to use these movement corridors that they've established in the structure to rapidly reposition themselves and maneuver on us. They could barricade themselves in spaces uh, like closets and freaking bathrooms and detonate themselves once we are in such close proximity that we cannot achieve standoff to safely eliminate them from range and instead have to get close to them where they can harm us. And I certainly expect them to have a large force manning this heavy machine gun, which is going to take a few people to man that giant crew serve weapon, as well as at least an assistant gunner and a gunner to man this anti-tank uh, guided missile. Another crew serve right here indicating potentially two additional folks. Uh, not to mention all these RPGs. That usually means you're going to have an ammo bearer and a guy actually firing the rocket. Um, so yeah, not a good situation. So how do you even begin to go about taking down a problem like this. Well, you probably can't do it successfully. You just can't. There's not a tactical solution uh, that under normal circumstances would allow you to save all five hostages, eliminate all enemies, and get out with your entire force intact. The risk is too high. Uh, the tactical problem is too difficult, but nonetheless, we're going to take a stab at it. I've divided my force into two elements, an assault element and an isolation or a support by fire security element. The assault element is located over here. It consists of a leader and then one, two, three, four, five assault personnel. One of those assault personnel is a sapper. Where's my sapper? There's my sapper. Sapper has three demo charges, door charge and a door charge, able to solve a lot of these locked door problems for us. The assaulters look pretty similar across the way. Lots of frags, M4 suppressed across the board, RPGs where they're appropriate, bangs mixed in, some armor for everybody. Sapper's got extra armor. 
And then I've positioned the leader right here. He's got a, uh, a grenade launcher on his AK. He's also got a red dot. Uh, he's got the sapper combat vest. And the, really the reason I positioned him here is just to simulate kind of something you might consider in real world. Leader's going to position himself between his two maneuver elements, this being one, this being the other. Here he has the best command and control as they make entry to the compound and begin their assault. Once the elements are internal, he's going to lose that situational awareness. But at least here, where he has to make the decision to launch and conduct the assault, he's able to do it, understanding exactly where his forces are and able to see everyone and make the best possible decision. Over here, that security or that support element that we described consists of one sapper. Primary function for tank is going to be to breach. He's got three demo charges, frags, helmets. Ooh, does my other sapper have a helmet? Let's get you a helmet, dog. There you go, bud. These guys don't have helmets. That sucks. Um... So his primary task is going to be to breach some of these doors, get us in, and um, does this sapper have a shield? It. No shield. Okay, that's cool. Do I want a shield? I don't want a shield. I'll take a Glock, though. Um, so his primary task is going to be to breach to get us into this wall and then start just chucking demo and looking for solutions to get us in extremis into the compound from this angle, if it comes to that. Uh, the rest of this force is militia, and they, they've all got FALs, and they've got a mix of frags, smokes, and bangs across each of them. And they have the Glock 17 pistol uh, across each of them as well. Because they're militia, each of these guys only count as half a deployment point, so we've got more folks on the ground than illustrated up here because one, two, three, four, five, six dudes are only occupying three slots. So it's just a way to get more people in the fight. The drawback, of course, is they don't have protection. Uh, they don't have plates. They don't have helmets. They're far less trained, far less capable, but we have more of them. And most of these guys, as you see, are just level one. I only have two stars. I can't purchase a whole bunch of new equipment. So instead, we're going with what we got. We're not trying to cheat the system. We want to experience the game as it is intended to be experienced. The way that I think I want to go about this, I want to smoke this up because in this game, smoke's a little bit overpowered. After I smoke this up, uh, I want to launch through this breach, breach, enter and clear this room, knock out these boys, save this hostage's life, and then once that's complete, start working through the rest of these challenges. This challenge, these challenges, this one, this one. Once these are done, work back this way. I'm going to do that with these guys. It's going to be slow, deliberate. Well, I say slow and deliberate. If it's too slow, my freaking hostages get executed. It's going to be as fast as possible that I can do prudently without risking my entire force getting wiped because if my force dies, so does the hostages. Over here with this militia element, I intend to breach this wall and get in a freaking massive gunfight and win it with handheld frags by tossing them over this bus into this pit if I can get them there and uh, fighting from cover with my militia that is hopefully enough to outnumber this force right here but we are facing a massive entrenched battle position in close proximity in their primary engagement area which i assess to be this large open area so they are expecting us to come from this direction i'm hoping they're expecting us to come through this breach or this breach and they're not going to think we're going that way so i'm going to get to planning let's see how this thing goes all right first things first we're getting the militia forces into position we're just going to get this uh wall shot placed this is going to take a little bit of time time that we don't really have the luxury of uh, of using so while we're doing that we're also going to get a smoke out over here this smoke is going to billow and then allow us to cross this linear danger area and uh, launch our assault into the main area. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here uncompromised. That is certainly the goal. I'm going to retain the ability, hopefully, um, to get through this breach and uh, and knock these guys out in extremis if I absolutely have to. But that's a problem for a few seconds for now. Let's see how this first part shakes out over here. We're just choking up the stack. Here we're getting the smoke out. Clock is already ticking. Smoke is out. Here's the other problem. We've got cameras right here, so they're you know projecting this. I have to assume that everyone in this compound is watching this guy's feed, which means they are potentially seeing this smoke go out right now, and we are risking compromise by virtue of that just being on television. Ah! That is not a good sign. Okay, there we go. Smoke is billowing. We are going to turn this corner, provide security with this guy, Immediately run up, clear the window with this guy, simultaneously turn, provide security with this guy. He's going to run until right here just to close up some of this slack. This man is going to stand right here and take the critical shots into the room that we need to survive. This man is going to double up with him right here. It is about to get exceptionally violent in this episode. Lead the leader in position right now in case we need that GL elsewhere. 
I'll choke him up just a little bit to close this, some of the distance off. Godspeed. There's my freaking shield taking all damn day. He can't run. These guys need to be running. Over here, wall shot is set. So as soon as we're compromised, we're going to be able to make entry here. Nineteen seconds. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I don't think I'm gonna have time. Frago. This dude's working the window. This dude's working the shot. This dude's gonna plate right there. In extremis, I'm going to have to use these guys to pie this corner to try and take a shot on the Executioner. There's a Suicide Bomber right there, so that's a, a freaking problem. Um, yeah, that's a significant problem. I do have one bang here in, in vicinity. We're clear left, so I can collapse this guy in. That gives me an extra shooter when this window comes down. Okay. 18 seconds. Shoot it right there. Oh, am I not going to be able to get through because of the dang freaking furniture? Get through there right now. All right. He's going to have to run to here. Kara is also going to have to run to here. While they're running, we'll pull security on the door like this. We only have a few seconds left of the smoke. When that smoke dies, so too may our chance of making this all work. Mm. I wonder how good a shot Nessip is as a level one leader, because I might in extremis have to toss a bang in here. My decision point is going to be, I think, at five seconds. If I don't think I'm going to make it at five seconds, I'm going to put a bang in this room and try to peek it with Ness Sip. As soon as we're compromised, this plan doesn't change over here. here. Got to peek it now because it looks like this execution is about to go down. Time to say goodbye. Hostage got freaking executed. This situation's going to shit. We have a barricaded shooter right there. I'm not going to repeat this. We still have a freaking suicide bomber in there that we can't account for. Oh my god. You just need to get into cover. Alright, we're going to go ahead and breach this. Oh my god. This freaking civilian is about to get smoked because he's in the crossfire. I am going to go ahead and put a frag. Is there a civilian in there? There's a suicide bomber. That's still a problem. We're also taking fire through this freaking doorway now because they're barricaded. Holy shit. All right. So I got to bail out of this fast or we're going to die. Are you already jumping? You're mid jump? You son of a. All right, and you've just got to get out of the way immediately while pieing this all off. Guys, um, this is not my best moment. All right, this breach is open. We'll let that develop for one second. They're going to have one slice right there to peek us as we move to cover. This situation is not good. Bail out of there. We have one guy inside. 
Suicide Bomber still dazed. Do we have any more bangs? Alright, we have a guy in the middle of a reload right now. So there's a chance I can make that grenade work. These guys just need to get to cover. We have other hostages at risk now too. There's also a freaking barricaded shooter right here. He has a line of sight all the way to this breach. That's freaking wild. Oh my god. Okay. This guy might die. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where are we at with that grenade? All right, over here, this breach is open. Uh, I think I'm going to pie it with militia first, just to be super cautious. And if I take casualties over here, I don't want it to be my sapper in the first push. Is that reporter dead? <laughs> you lived for now. All right, that grenade's about to go off. Oh, what a shot. All right, mid reload. Suicide bomber is still a freaking problem. Uh, that grenade's about to go off. We have another hostage that's about to be executed. Can we see any others? All right, so that's now the objective. There's a hostage freaking deep. So we got to get this assault team in ASAP. Oh my God. Do you have anything? What do you got? You have a shoulder fired. Okay, let's freaking at least pie the rest of this off. I need a solution to this because he's locking down this linear danger area, which is going to prevent me from getting to this hostage in time. The hostage is going to get assassinated if I don't hustle. Um, we are about to lose a fight here, so we're going to hold cross coverage. We have multiple shooters. I'm actually going to sprint him out of the way. He's going to lose that fight as a militiaman. Uh, but we can't just hold this breach. Okay. We'll see how that one goes. This is not going well. The grenade should go off freaking right now. Please land. Suicide bomber is still in here. That's your threat, bro. The suicide bomber. Stop what you're doing and kill this man. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, you stupid son of a... <clears throat> that was not in the freaking minimum arming distance. Come on. Well... The first suicide detonation of the map was not the enemy. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, we're going to finish this freaking fight. Looking okay there. Suicide bomber's still coming. <laughs> Bro, come on, dude. Uh How is the suicide bomber not pushing me yet? Are you guys still winning this fight? Oh, you're about to die. That's not going to do anything. I got hit. Peek it from the other side, not from the same location. Can you seriously not kill this guy? The suicide bomber is going to kill. Are we doing okay? We're doing okay. All right, we got a good long line of sight. It's clear for now. We're going to push this while we can. Try to establish the security position. That's going to expose too much of me, so I'm going to stop short right here. One man will go deep. Two men will take the opposite direction. All right, we still have this problem because we freaking self-detonated earlier and this hostage is still pending execution. 36 miserable seconds have elapsed. Will this give line of sight 
to that shooter? I do not know. I don't think that will, though. Alright, let's go. Good grenade, good grenade. Grenades going out. Identified one threat internal based off this guy doing his button hook. Looking good long. Alright, looking good there now. That's going to allow me to get these guys in. First man's going to hold long. Second one's going to plate bathroom. Third man will hold long as well. Four man. We're going to bypass bathrooms for now to try and hustle that hostage. Oh, goodness. I kind of want to work this just while I'm in vicinity. But that's a two man clear from external. Um, and I suspect it's occupied. What a freaking legend. Who are you? Samir? Bro, you're getting a bonus. Not even injured. Hold that freaking angle like your life depends on it because it does. My dude. Who are you guys fighting? Dude's in the open. One dude with cover. I don't know if we win this fight. Have you scored any hits? We are suppressed. If you're suppressed, fall back. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that heavy gun's wrecking us right now. Do we have anything that can get to it? We do. We'll frag with the lead man. Hold security adjacent to him to provide protection without, hopefully, yep, not quite exposing ourselves. Good thing we had security because we did knock out that one guy. Frag's going out. Another crew server over here just freaking giving it to us. Looking kind of healthy on this end. Just a buddy team holding it. I am concerned how bunched up we are. This is a freaking right candidate for a grenade or shoulder fire to come our way, especially with all the suppressive fire. I don't think we have enough crew serves. We don't have any over here. It's all like FALs and stuff. So we, we cannot achieve suppression on that guy as long as he knows where we're at. Um, okay. Over here, we're not looking terrible. Uh, I'm going to push forward with homie. This absolute legend of a man. Don't you die on me, Samir. Don't you fucking die on me, Samir. Keep the plate to the rear. We had a good grenade there. All right, we still have this problem and not a lot of good ways to solve it. I'm curious. If we're going to be able to peek it from another corner. Or how far these homies can throw. Not very. Hmm. <laughs> this is a freaking just absolute disaster. <laughs> One minute has elapsed. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. You only have 17 rounds. All right, we need to provide some help ASAP. So run your freaking ass off. Suppress this area immediately with your freaking 17 rounds that you have left. That's a perfect angle. Can those 17 rounds of suppression last until backup gets here to support you? And when backup gets here, will they be effective is the question. We have suppression, we have a rifle, we have a grenade. What else could the world want? Um, all right, let's work it. Come on, grenade. All right, we own that axis, that's a win. We know it's still freaking occupied by some enemy. We took one round there, it looked like, but we're doing okay. I, I don't want to give up this access now that we have it. We do have an RPK up. I'm going to move him into security here. Start pressing forward a little bit more with these guys. I'm 
now we got two angles to worry about. Also a freaking challenge. Uh, freaking Hafiz and your freaking Glock 18. It was an 18. I wish it was an 18. 17. Okay. Based off us taking so much contact from here, I'm going to prioritize that for clearance. Uh, keeping in mind that this has not been cleared, neither has this, so rear security is going to remain a must. We did make one long shot here, so we actually won that peak. Because we are we have these guys um, enveloped to a certain extent by these angles. That's not good. He has an FAL and he's trained. I have a militiaman, so we're going to duck back into cover here. All right, do we have... Oh, yes. America's got talent. Let's go. I'm going to put that right there. So if there are hostages down in here, they're in the they're in the blast kind of radius a little bit, but they're not necessarily going to get killed by it. Only injured. Let's see if we can chuck that grenade. Biggest threat now, obviously deep, but we've got that kind of covered. It's going to be this angle here. This guy's pushing us a little bit. We got a suppressed guy, critically injured. He's going to fall back. This dude's got a AK under folder. Not the best weapon for the situation. Yep, we did lose one. Damn it. All right, that grenade went off. Makes me think we won that pink peak fight down there. The rest of that room doesn't look terrible from external. Um, Jesus, just look at this absolute bloodbath. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. How are we doing on ammo? 24, 29, 29, 40. What I think I'm going to do is flip it. Put my machine gun here holding long. Move a freaking shield up to plate him. And then I'm going to wait for him to get set to push the rest of these guys down the hall. Down here. 16, 13, let's take attack reload. Hold this angle while he gets that reload in. These guys are just getting freaking some life experience right now. Okay. That's why we put the FAL there. Please win that fight every time. Let's get you into a little bit more cover there, bud. All right, now with him in position. There you go. I feel more comfortable pushing long. I don't like this at all. Like, there's just no good way to do it. Live, dude, look at all that damage. Oh my god, the suicide bombers. Holy shit. Let's get you some standoff, my dude. Put a freaking shield in front of you. Oh god. Oh my god. Face this way immediately. You, just freaking run. You're already hurt. Did I just hear a bomb? There's a freaking bomb in here too? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this place? Alright, new priority. Don't let the freaking bomb explode. Raj. Get some frags this direction, please. How many rounds you got left, my guy? Get some suppression in here, please. Oh my lord. All right, so we're definitely pushing that direction. We just saw that breach open. Leads me to think we might have an opportunity to take a shot there in a second. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but we definitely have to push towards that freaking bomb now. I'm going to take it a little bit wider with a shield. And I'm going to put my freaking legendary RPK man behind him. Samir is hero of the battle. 
Um, I'm going to leave one, maybe one to hold this angle. I don't know, dude. I think I need more assaulters this direction just based off that bomb. I got to get to the bomb. I got to get to that hostage. The priority immediately changed when I heard that bomb. Suicide bombers. I just assume everything's a freaking suicide bomber now. There's freaking two bombs! There's two bombs! Are you fucking kidding me? What is this? How many bombs are there? There's nothing in the briefing about bombs, just freaking suicide vests. Oh my god. This is just asinine. Um, Alright, I'm going to finish this peak. Or do you still need to reload? You still need to reload. Poor task management. Alright, over here. Oh, God. Why are you looking directly at me as soon as I come around the corner? Like, there's gunfire everywhere. You chose that angle. All right, Samir, get out of here. You freaking hold your exact position. You walk up directly behind his exact position. Please don't shoot him in the back of the freaking head. And kill this man. Samir, run out of the way. Just run. Do not take a round, Samir. Do not take a freaking round. Samir lives. The day is won. Kara, you have no handhelds. You are useless. What are you doing? Go back there. Freaking. No! <laughs> what are you shooting? A cannon? A freaking 747S. Eat my balls, dude. No chance. That was a good shot. That was like uh, in freaking the new version of Red Dawn where Channing Tatum gets clapped in that hallway. Rip my dude Channing. Get the freaking hell over here and chuck a frag at this absolute asshole. Please. Oh, come on. Let's go. Should probably stop throwing frags when there's like an unknown number of freaking bombs in this place. Um, how are we doing over here? Did we win? We didn't win. We did not win yet. Can you get to cover without dying? Okay. <sighs> All right, Hafiz. At least Samir's okay. Okay. There's another asshole over there. Are you serious? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm like stressed out right now. This is taking forever. There's no chance I have the patience to play this entire mission again. I have to get this. Oh, my God. Where's that smoke? In route? Jesus. Samir. I might ask you to do something crazy, Samir. You're too injured, man. Ah, oh, God. Do I do it? No. No, I don't. It's not... Not right. Not safe. I was going to think about sending Samir down here by himself to pull along to get an L right here. But um, he's too injured and I don't want to send him by himself and there's no one there to mutually support him. So I don't want to risk it. Um, I don't want to risk it. How many bombs do you need in one level? Two minutes on these things. Okay. This room is clear. Let's get Samir up here. He's hurt, but he does have a machine gun. I 
I'm going to have him pull long down this hallway. These guys, I'm going to work the threats this way. I have two threats. I have open threat in this room, remember, that connects all this, that mobility corridor we talked about. So I could experience reinforcements from any of these rooms based off of that. But I know we saw somebody over there. Meanwhile, we have smoke billowing here. Frag should be going out. Yeah, there it is. Once that frag goes off, we'll start maneuvering these guys forward a little bit if we can. Maybe get them in a position to get a lethal frag out. Gosh, damn. Oh, my God. There's my frag. Smoke's looking good. These two are going to risk it for the biscuit. Are you guys stuck? There we go. Savav. Do I have any healthy guys over here? You're healthy. Get over here. All right. I'm glad I plated that direction. Oh, fuck, There's two bombs. That's two bombs. Now you gotta go work in this freaking hallway. Where's my freaking shield guy? Get your ass over here and plate this direction. You guys work on this bomb. You guys work on this bomb. You pull security on those doors. Problem with this scenario, I don't have rear security. <clears throat> This is so stupid. I have I do not have security for this. Another shooter right there deep. I did win this fight. Oh my god. Someone please kill this man. Please. Literally anybody. You took your shield down while you were taking fire in it to reload your pistol. I'm not even sad that that went the way it did, my guy. <sighs> All right, back to the land of the logical. Um, we're going to work this one next. <laughs> it's wicked. Uh, Samir, it's me and you, my dude. Smear is still our machine gun. He's going to hold long security. Are we clear outside? Did we did we win? Did the militia do their thing? This is still concerning. Oh god, we didn't win. Nothing about what happened resulted in winning. Do you have a frag grenade? Do you you have a bang? I'll I'll take whatever can range this right now. All right, this room is clear from external. Now check your freaking six and slide, my dude. Plate him. Maintain rear. Get dead. Oh, all right, did we win? If there's more than freaking three bombs on this level, I'm going to lose it, bro. Not really. I'll be fine. I'll just be sad. Um, all right. Next challenge. Do we have any bangs amongst you guys? Of course. Oh, we have one. Samir. Samir has a bang. Guys, I'm not surprised either. Samir's the man. All right. We do have a challenging entry here, though. We'll hold long with our homie. He's going door. Hard corner. Back to the door. And then transitioning. This homie. Take this guy. I want you to hesitate for just one little second for me, my dude. You're going to center check, hard check, 
door check. Samir, last man in. Okay. All right, I'm about to start using the militia to sweep this direction just to expedite clearance and see if there's any more bombs because we might have less than a freaking minute to get to wherever all of these bombs might be. Oh, God. Good luck, boys. It's a tiny sliver of dead space right here. There's probably seven suicide bombers or a bomb that I haven't discovered yet in that position by virtue of me choosing to ignore it. We'll see how it goes. All right, here's the challenge. We got to pan this. Samir has the bang. But remember, this bang is only going to affect one of these rooms, and we have a two-room problem and a hostage. Are you... Samir, no! Samir! Samir! No! God damn it, Samir! <sighs> he was trying to do the right thing. Oh, sh there's another fucking bomb! There could be executioners in this, in this room. Um, we only have two dudes. And fucking militia. Oh my god. I think I gotta I gotta push this. You have to make the shot. You have to make the shot. We'll double peek it, but you have to make the shot. You're at level one, you're injured. You've been in a gunfight. You're facing a fresh veteran insurgent. But you have to make this shot. And yes, he's shooting 762 at your face and you're not wearing a helmet. But you have to make this shot. Who are you? Akeem. New hero of the battle, Akeem. This is your moment. Um, come on, Akeem. Let's go, Akeem! Let's go! Oh, shit. All right, so we have a dead hostage here. One, two, three, four here. That's five total. So we've got our hostages. Last check here is to make sure. Oh, God. I still I need to be prudent. I need to be prudent. So here's the challenge. I've got to hold long security. I've also got to check this corner. So I'm going to put you on a pause because that corner will freaking kill you. If you don't check it. Check this one. Okay, now go deep. Watch out for suicide bombers. Yo, if there's a suicide bomber in this room, I will cry. I will actually cry. All right, boys, you, you got to start this sweep. Oh, God, there's a fucking suicide bomber in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm just giving him the most standoff and the best angle I can. It is no longer in our hands.